today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day on this beautiful Wednesday. I don't know why, but like, are you guys feeling those almost spring vibes? You know, like March is around the corner. We're gonna have the change of the hour that I haven't learned the name, like the saving life, whatever thing that they do here. And it's like automatically everything is just going to be better. You know, spring is here, no more ex super cold, that we're still not in the hell that is summer. You know, they're just like fabulous, amazing days, at least here in LA. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below how is um, spring for you guys, wherever you are. Girl, it is time to talk about Mm, okay, I have a blank item. Okay, I have a blank item for you. We haven't had one of those in a while, you know, and I'm, I remember that I used to like them because it's kind of like the essence of what we do here, which is a literally talking shit about people that we don't know, right? So the blind item kind of like give us everything and I find kind of like a juicy one and I wanna know what you guys are thinking. But before we get into it, it is time to give a shout out to our new partners for this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. Girl, they have an amazing skin care collection and they're, uh, I don't know, purpose in life is basically to make your skin glow. Uh, I am very excited because I actually use these products. I haven't been using them for a while, so when they contact me, I was like, yes, girl, let's make this happen. They are really, really, really good, so support them right now. And if you wanna get their products, make sure to go to the link in the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 to 20% off, okay? So they ship everywhere, so go and get your Jibu Beauty right now. Okay guys, so let's talk about this uh, mess because we have this blind item right here waiting for us is so juicy and I want to know, I mean, we we have to go through several cities to learn about this. It says, these Eastern housewives likes people to think that she can afford all the luxury vacations she takes. She can't between her husband's failed businesses and her own, they live on credit cards and package noodles. Ooh, not package noodles. Literally, everything they do is given to them by companies who want them to visit or come eat at restaurant. It is a house of cars that threatens to topple, topple all of the time. Bitch, girl. Okay, so again, this one is actually pretty big because they're talking about an Eastern housewife. So, and we have several franchises going on the East Coast from New Jersey to New York to Potomac to Atlanta to Miami. We have five franchises going on over there. Now, I'm trying to think. Should we just go one by one? I mean, look, if we talk about Miami, to be very honest with you, I do not think that any of the girls of Miami is going through this because Alexia has a lot of money. She lives in an amazing penthouse. You know, we have seen her spend money like crazy, you know. Um, Lisa Hochstein, yes, she is divorcing right now, but this is not about, you know, like a new kind of like broke situation. This apparently has been going on for a while, so I don't think it's Lisa. Uh, Marisol has money, Adriana has money, Kiki, uh, uh, Gerdy, Nicole Martin, hello, they live in a $50 million mansion. Uh, Julia, let me go. Like all of them, you know, have actual a lot of money. So I think we should, I think we can take Miami out of the equation, right? Now, 
uh, between Atlanta Potomac girl. I don't know why someone that really comes to my mind is maybe Juan Dixon and Robin Dixon, especially because everything that has been going around, you know, with the mistress and how the mistress says that the relationship is fake and all of that, you know, like uh, maybe them. But also apparently has to be someone who is always posting a lot of like luxury vacations, you know, and they don't really post a lot of that. But maybe, maybe it could be them. Um... Giselle doesn't have a partner. Ashley doesn't have a partner. I mean, Karen and Ray. Girl, I mean, Ray doesn't even have the energy to pretend to have money. You know, I mean, I mean, he's just like, please, just let me go. Let me go to the light. But anyways, so I don't think it's them. Um, Mia, I mean, Mia Thornton and uh, what is the name of uh, G or whatever the husband's name they are going through a lot financially, so it might be them, but I think that if we really watch Mia, she has never been like pretending to have. She has been very open about her struggles and everything. So I don't think it's them at all. Now, um, that's Potomac. Atlanta, I have no idea. I mean, Sania Ross and the husband, Drew Sidora and the husband, both of them, you know, maybe very shady. Although Sania had, it's an Olympic, so I don't know, maybe. Uh, I don't think uh, Candy and Todd have any financial problems. I haven't really heard anything about them. I don't know. I mean, it's it's super complicated. And uh, from New York, I, we don't have any information yet. But one person that actually, when I read the comments, a lot of, of you guys were thinking that they were talking about Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga from the Real Housewives of New Jersey because they do post constantly different things trying to pretend that they have a lot of money. Now, we know that MB is, you know, MBing everyone at this point because they don't do anything uh, there, right? And Joe Gorga has been named on like several shady businesses and like owning money to a bunch of people. So maybe they could be one of them you know because jennifer aiding and bill aiding they have money you know he's a doctor it's, it's not gonna be around that and uh, i mean Teresa and 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 lewis even though a lot of people have been talking about lewis they don't really go around like posting big you know luxury things constantly you know so i don't think that's what they're, they're talking about so anyways, that's it, that's the blind item. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Who is this housewife? Let me know. And if you wanna get all the tea related to all the Bravo franchises or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya, bye. Hello everyone, and before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose, forever they did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year this is the perfect gift for you your mom your wife your husband whatever you want to say i'm sorry i love you i miss you say it with these beautiful flowers so if you want to get your bouquet right now go to the link on the description below and use my discount code andy25 and you will get 25 dollars off your order again this is the perfect gift for anyone so whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever.